here at Arm Drop Revival 2023, put on by the Kent Rose Foundation, Gina Rose. Um, she's always done our shirts and now she's putting on a race for the first time here and I think five or six years. They were racing here back before my time of being around, but um, it's awesome to be out here. It's gonna be a really cool, I mean, racing on airport, really cool. Everyone's super nice down here, but we got the dart out here. Yay. Kind of last minute, but. Very last minute. What class are you racing in? I'm racing in Daily Driver Plus. The Red Nova's in Daily Driver Plus too, so. Phillies? Oh God, jeez. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Well, so <laughs> this surface is really rough, really bumpy. It hasn't, like I said, it hasn't been raced on in five years, but her car should go down. We're gonna put a really solid nitrous ramp in it and see what, and see what happens. It's so bumpy. Like, I don't know if you can see behind us, the car's Oh yeah, they're like taking flight, but uh, yeah, so today's Friday, we get to make some test hits, hang out a little bit, and tomorrow it'll be small tire and everything, but, and Daily Driver Plus, but just testing today, farting around, and uh, we're gonna have some fun, so let's go turn the, get the nitrous bottle on the car, and see if we can send it, send it and not spin. <laughs> the driver's got a bunch of fun goodies. Ooh. Check out these shirts. Cool. Look at that. Driver. You're a driver. I'm a driver. <laughs> I get a fancy shirt. <laughs> what else you got there? And we got a nitrous sticker. express sticker. That's you can never have too many stickers. Yep. Can't have, have too many nitrous express stickers. Uh, arm drop sticker. And a, a funnel. funnel. You always need that? funnels. Yes. Yes. Taking off the air cleaner. That's plus 25 horsepower. Oh yeah. If, if it spins, we'll just put the air cleaner back on. <laughs> Take it easy now on the old daily over here, okay? Oh, come on. This ain't no daily driver. No passes, zero. <laughs> First pass in four years. It's probably going to spin. Did not, I'm not, did not I'm gonna be honest, I left too high. I did not expect him to go that fast. Yeah. It, it kind of threw me off a little bit. Well, you know, that's just the practice flagger. I don't know who's gonna be flagging tomorrow, but. Right, yeah, I was just like, like I just, I just got on and then. Well, so it spun and you caught it. How'd it feel out the back? Yeah, but it wasn't like spinning, just hitting bumps. It wasn't spinning, I was definitely just like, yeah. It's the best way I can describe it. I let out before the finish line because the pass was already toast. But after you pedaled, you got back in it and it felt good? I pedaled, it started spinning again, and then it gathered itself up. Okay. It was like it happened like that. Did Hopefully. you kind of feel the nitrous start coming in? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. But it, it felt felt good. Yeah, it, just, it really felt like. Yeah. That's the best it's way I can place. describe it. Yeah, it's really bumpy. Yeah, that's going to be fun in a fast car. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I pedaled it once and stuck it again and it hooked back up. It felt pretty good out the back. What did it go on the draggy? It didn't record. Oh my goodness. It said low, sat, low stats or low stats. Did your draggy record? Uh, even if it did, that was... Well, what was... Uh, okay, yeah, whatever. Everything about the we'll, we'll do it again. I think I can get it to hook up off the hit. I'm going to have to lower the launch RPM though. You might as well not even leave like on the trans brake car. They like, dude, what you just did. 
I might be able to go like half throttle and then just like kind of. That might be what I do in the Falcon. I'll just not even build booths. I don't think like, it's that bad. We'll see. We're on a radial. Yeah. So. You trying anything new this time or just gonna try and. I'm just gonna leave it idle this time. Yeah. Seemed to be a little better. Yeah, it was definitely better. Um, you beat the old racer in the right lane, right? Yeah. I mean, I think I left before him, didn't no, I? No, you guys left even, which was kind of funny because, really? like, yeah, you guys left at the same time. It was funny because there's no flagger, but yeah, you guys left even. Well, I was waiting to see what he was going to do. I know. <laughs> and I was like, okay, let's take Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, 821, so. There you go. Picked up a 10. Yeah. Things were a little hectic at the airport, and it was kind of. We, we showed up Friday and we pretty much unloaded and we we're getting ready to start testing and there wasn't a lot of time to shoot recaps, but that's what we're here doing now. So second hit, second test pass, you pulled up next to the Civic in the right lane and the plan was is to leave pretty much almost the idle, maybe just a little bit. I don't know how much you brought it up. But I brought it up to about 1500, which is, it's that's basically idle. Basically idle, yeah. Basically. So still spun gave it a quick pedal again and then it used same thing as the first pass drove around his ass. Second. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't get to say that much <laughs> you drove around that honda the turbo you drove around that turbo honda pretty sure it's turbo i don't know um i mean yeah <laughs> you bought summed it up uh it was the same as first the pass. Front. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm sorry jimmy I'm dale will love that <laughs> next express jimmydaleracing.com get you a little wing go ahead little wing that, that's, that's what we're missing i know that's we what need we a needed wing. <laughs> that's what we needed jeez no wonder <laughs> we were getting beat by billy could have had the upper hand all right go ahead all right i was just kept trying to say i think that's about it for the second pass yep. not much to report yep other we just than brought the nitrous in a little quicker and it went faster uh went a little more mile an hour we really wanted to figure out a strategy to make it not spin because that's yeah. what was holding us back a lot so <laughs> So we got back after that one and I started asking Billy and Bill, like, is there anything I can do to help it not spin as hard? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do here. Billy had me add some weight in the back of the car. And we threw about, I think, 40 or 50 pounds. We had some clamp on weights we put in the back. And then uh, Bill suggested that we leave in second and just wait for, don't pedal it, just let it catch wait itself. for it to catch itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so third third pass, she made a little solo run, and we were going to try out this new strategy. This time, my dad told me, delay the nitrous two seconds, let it leave on motor, get out there to two seconds, and if it shifts where we think it should, it'll shift, and then the nitrous will come on, and it was on no ramp. <laughs> it was <laughs> all in. So 150 shot, all in after two seconds, once it would hook up. So that was the plan. <laughs> yeah, and that felt kind of crazy. <laughs> I mean... I didn't want to do it either. I was like, I think we need to ramp it like one second just for the just for the three forties health of heart. Like, but ah, screw it. Yeah, it's it. fine. And the final pair. That was 
pretty good. Well, it but was cool. it worked. It was cool. I think it worked so well because it shifted second so early. So you 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 put you left in second. Mm -hmm. So it was still leaving in first, but it would shift as if you were dri driving away from a stoplight, and it shifted. I don't know, like four thousand. So it shifts, catches the tire, but it lugged it down at the same time. That way, it wasn't when the one fifty shot came in. It was lugged down enough to where it wasn't so aggressive, and I think that's why it worked. But mm -hmm. you can see in the video, it it, 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 it she leaves and it spun, spins a little bit, and it shifts second after like it rolls out like ten feet, shifts second, and then it just catches and then it starts going. Mm -hmm. And that was your best sixty foot, I think. Yeah, that was by far. That was the third one. Let's see, <laughs> I mean the sixty foot was still two twenty three, but you know. It's okay. I in the Falcon, I was only 177 60 foot. Yeah, that's what I go on a Billy prep was track. 190. <laughs> Billy was 190 60 foot. 177's what I go on a prep track. Yeah, well, one, 190 why. was what Billy was going in the Gray Nova. So I mean, you're you're only 3 tenths behind him. <laughs> but he was yeah. That, I mean, that car should not set up for that at no. all. Um, all right. And I think so the third one that went in 821. So, which was 21. progress. Yeah. Cuz I think the this is either the first or the second one. I can't remember. I didn't have a dragging in the car for one of them. Yeah, that's all right. It don't matter. We're going, we we're going we went low. We from eights. an 833 to an 821. And then we had one more test pass. So we got one more test pass before the main, uh, they're racing stick shift Friday night. Billy decided he wanted to race one more time. And this one was more special. This one was a special race because it was the first, uh, uh, they're going to let Dante Rose, uh, Kent Rose's son, um, they're going to let him flag it. And it was going to be the first, like, you know, official pass down the track before stick shift ran. I put it all in two seconds. Burnout that you've ever done in your life, okay? Like, like you see this holler? It's like, it's like the first burnout that's ever happened in this holler. You got to do it for, you got to do it for Kent, like all the way that way. I'll try my best, well, but I suck at burnouts. I've ever done in your life, bro. I mean, I got so much pulled out of it, I don't know how to carry it. Well, I mean, just pull it, put it back in, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 put it back yeah, in. Yeah, put, put it back, back in, in real quick. You know? <laughs> We're not going to it. We want to make like 30,000 right here. <laughs> <laughs> really special to let her be a part of that and let Billy be a part of that definitely a little bit of a tearjerker in the beginning but so we line up against Billy they do the opening ceremony and um, you know Jason's up there telling us to <laughs> they're like we need to do a burnout all the way down the track oh. this is the best burnout of your life so Allison's in there she's nervous no, I'm like it's not gonna do a good burnout <laughs> I mean you can see it in the GoPro but I'm full throttle and it's just like so not moving I know like, like oh for God. so for it's kind of weird, but <laughs> when you're on a surface that, that's that coarse, yes, it's really easy to spin when you're racing, but when you do a burnout, it is so hard. I'm sure you guys, when you guys see the SRC video, it's really hard to do a good burnout because it just wants to grab initially, and especially yeah. when you've got it turned down so far 
and like a turbo, like one of the actual race cars, it's really hard to do good burnouts. And um, but you did, you sat there second and had some tire <laughs> smoke, but it rolled out and it was just like, <laughs> I know. It's just that's all it could do. Yeah. And then Jason's <laughs> like, well, she tried, she tried. I was like, it don't make <laughs> enough power to even. <laughs> Thank you. Like, but like he kept saying, like, do the best burnout of your you life. You should just turn like, the nitrous on for the burnout. <laughs> I know. I thought about it for a second. I'm like, oh gosh, this is an important moment. <laughs> yeah. How can I make it to a burnout? Well, so they do their burnouts and we get them backed up. Dante's up there ready to flag. Really special. Just an awesome, awesome uh, thing to be a part of. But uh, so how'd it go? How was it looking at Billy's taillights the whole way? Well, it was just depressing because that was the best one I right. made. Right, like she makes went her best an, pass. But see, it went in 808, which was, you know, the best. I wanted to get and, in the sevens, but yeah, couldn't do it, I guess. Well, I don't know. It, it might have we tweaked a couple more things but obviously that was the last one and we were on the right track like we were doing better and better each pass yeah but yeah no it's depressing to watch you this. actually i think you treed billy they didn't tree billy but i think you you guys left even i don't know about that no you did i'm pretty sure you did i don't know about that you guys left even there was some people that commented about it they're like allison left even with billy no i don't think i really got, got the break. <laughs> i don't think i got the hang of the arm drop thing until the next day like i know <laughs> I know I left really good on first round, but yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure you got Billy on, if the, we, on the arm drop. If we left even, it's because he was late. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, uh, so yeah, she made her best pass, but Billy's Nova or my dad's Nova was just kind of it was a bit freakish how good it was working. Mm -hmm. I mean, for what that thing is, it was doing really well. It might have if we had slicks on it, we probably should have put it in small tire. It would have done better than the gray Nova. But, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was almost doing better than the green. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So that was about it for Friday. They had a little concert. We hung out a little bit, ate some food. Uh, it was just an awesome time Friday night. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we got ready for Saturday. We, we drove the, the dart back to the Airbnb. It was about a 10 minute cruise. And because we had to drive it into the track for Saturday uh, because the rules say so. So. It had to have been your best one yet, right? Yeah, but I just heard his, so I'm depressed. <laughs> Nova's going pretty quick, 720. What'd you go? 808. I guess that's about as good as we're going to get. Like... Yeah, but it only spins. It doesn't spin after it shifts? No. Okay, so the nitrous. No, but that's where I watch, like, it's gone. He's gone. I, like, I lose immediately. 108 almost. He's probably the fastest car in the class because he's a puppy kicker. Yeah, I've called him a, a puppy kicker a couple times, but, you know, people only say that when they're slow. We need that hammy. Got to get that hammy in engine. You probably could be on a better ball. tire, too. Like, he's on the actual radials. You're on some, like, he's got them cheater radials. You're on rubber band tires. I felt it come out. So, Saturday. If you, if we thought Friday was hectic, Saturday was hectic on steroids. Yeah, let me just paint a picture for you guys. So, I already know that I'm going to be filming both of them in small tire. And then Billy's going to be in daily driver. So, I, you know, Tommy and I will then have to, like, coordinate over who's going to film. Because I was also in daily driver plus. Mm -hmm. And then add on, we have how many GoPros now? Oh, I mean, this weekend, I borrowed my dad's GoPros. We had... 
I, I think we have about eight or nine GoPros yes. running around and making sure that they're charged, making sure Billy turns his GoPros off because he always forgets and it runs all the memory out. Mm -hmm. so, this is stuff, you know, one day we should go through our whole camera setup so people can understand what all it takes. Like how much goes into it yeah. and how much planning and thinking and how much of it. Just, it takes up a lot of, uh, you know, my thinking. Brain for capacity. The day. Yeah. And yeah, the does. thing is, is what we've been experiencing lately is if you focus more on the filming side of things, the racing program is going to suffer. If you su if you focus more on the racing program, the, the video is going to suffer. So it's been really hard recently with her trying to start racing because she's, you know, for the last two years, she's our camera person. And I help out where I can. Like if I go out first round, I'll start filming finish line or I'll start running GoPros, whatever. But this weekend, you know, we everyone was going rounds and, you know, it, it got really tough. So yeah. So everybody was going rounds, and during the driver's meeting, this wasn't planned. You guys both entered Run What You Brung. So yeah. that added another another was, class that I we had to be up there five for. We were in five or six classes total yes. that we were entered in. Lot, so there was a lot to film, a lot to keep track of. Yeah. I think it's I don't stressful. even think it was until like third or fourth round that I finally had a second to check GoPros to make sure they yeah. weren't dead. And so you got to think. So we, we arrived Saturday. We start filming. The car's parked. The car is ready to go. I mean, it's fueled. The tires are good. And we just make sure the bottle's good. That's all we have to do. 90, 90 plus degrees outside. It was hot. Super, super hot. A black car. I just got back from filming Run What You Brung. Um, and I go into the trailer and I just sit down for a second, trying to cool off, drink water. She's been sitting outside filming first round for four right. hours. I, I step out of the trailer. I'm like, man, they have to be calling like daily driver soon. This is, I haven't heard anything. And then Tommy's like, they're calling your name. Yeah. Like you are like, the, your next pair yeah. and you're, you're just getting out of the trailer. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, oh crap. Uh, basically I just drove up there, threw my jacket on. I told Tommy, like, can you open the bottle for me? So then I go to open the bottle. Yeah. We're up here on the starting line. She's getting buckled in. I open the bottle and it is way past the red. Uh, so, you know, bottle pressure is supposed to be a thousand and anywhere in the green, 900 to a thousand. Bottle pressure is at like 1400. So what, basically what from. happens is when the bottle pressure is that high, the solenoids will not open. She does a burnout, we get lined up, and I'm trying to like, I'm trying to tell her like, it's all right, just relax. You know, I know we're rushing, but just try and stay calm. She stages, she trees this guy. Oh, it was such a shame, because I just, even though I was up there rushing, I did everything else right. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think I nailed the arm drop. Nailed the arm drop. Other guy was dead late. I mean, yeah, I mean, he even came up to me after. He was like, you treed, you treed me so bad. Yeah. It just didn't have any nitrous. Yeah, and so I left. I'm like, I'm a little out ahead of him, like, just by as much as I got him by on the tree. Uh, like, it was, it was going to be a close race. And then right around the time my nitrous is supposed to turn on, he starts, like, pulling away from me and eventually driving out of my life and I'm sitting there I'm like come on I like I glanced at my switch I'm like the switch is on I don't know what's wrong yeah so fun fact if this ever happens again shut that switch like if you tell the nitrous ain't come on switch it off because what happened is the fuel solenoids don't know that the nitrous solenoids are not opening so for the extra fuel that you spray with the nitrous that was getting sprayed in without the nitrous so it was extra fat and it was lugging down the engine so it was probably it probably went 
I don't know, it was probably a nine second pass just because of all the extra fuel, you could hear it. I mean, it was just like lugging. So if that ever happens again, you know the nitrous ain't coming on, your only option is just flip the switch off and run it on motor. And, but you know, it's so hard to hear the car in general, especially with that loud ass CTSV in the other lane. But um, yeah, I just, I can't hear the car at all. Just a rookie mistake. Lessons we know now. were learned and- It's in oh, talks. We're kind of trying to plan the next time that we're all racing together. Maybe we just start focusing on our passes between me, Billy, and Allison instead of covering the whole event. I don't know how people would feel about that. I know most people skipped our passes anyways, but some people do like the full event coverage. But maybe we could skip first round um, and just film our passes like the first two rounds. And then when we get down to like 16 cars, then we can do full coverage. Um, you know, something like that, something where the workload is a little less and she can focus on getting her car ready instead of filming the first round for four hours. You know, it's just not, it's not really worth it. Most of the know, time, so. first rounds at that place too are just a bunch of white smoke. Yeah, it's really it's, boring. It's probably, it's not even really entertaining to watch. Seven second passes, first round. Right. So. I, I don't know. It's tough. And, you know, I don't want anybody to think too that I don't, that I'm like upset that I have to film and race at the same time. That's not it at all. I love filming. I especially, I love to go through and I like to watch his, how he edits all the footage. I also think if we cut down on full event coverage and just focus more on our stuff, even the SRC stuff will get better because we forget to do recaps. We forget to actually well, it's sit not, and talk to the camera for in between rounds. It's and, not forgetting, there's just no time. Yeah. I mean, there really isn't. Cause if you think about it, I'm gone majority of pretty, the entire round of whatever they're racing. And so by the time I get back, typically they're already working on their next tune. It's, it's something we gotta, about and, yeah, it's something we gotta uh, try out and see how it works. But we definitely gotta make some changes because if she wants to start racing and she's gonna start racing more and more in the future, we're gonna have to either hire another camera person or we're all gonna have to work together and possibly decide what's more important instead of you know filming uh, everyone else's passes and doing a full event, a event coverage kind of deal. So we've been rambling long enough. The rest wow. of the weekend still was good. We were bummed that we lost first round. I think she could have won that first round. And the guy that she lost to first round, he went three or four rounds. So she was probably right there with some yeah. of the, you know, right there in the middle with some of the other cars. Um, she would have been competitive, and that's what was bumming us out. But until you know, I drew Billy. <laughs> until she drew Billy. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, in the end, I was really happy for Billy, though. Uh, it was, it was oh, really it was cool. Billy's I mean, weekend. It was so funny, though. At the end, like it, it all worked out. It all worked out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, hey, you got to make five hits down Combs Airport. Not right. many people get to do that. No, I wasn't even planning on bringing the car because of all the stuff we were just yeah, talking about, about filming. Yeah. Um, and Billy and Billy and Bill just talked us into it, and I'm glad they glad weren't we even going to bring the Red Nova. They, they yeah, talked themselves into second. that. It was all last second. So <laughs> yeah. once we realized there's a Daily Driver Plus class, so there's one thing we want to do for to end this video. I want to uh, show you guys some of the upgrades we got. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff from Nitrous Express, so let's go ahead and open that stuff up. Voila. Alrighty. Look at all this stuff. Another New sticker. Solenoids. Not more stickers. I think, uh, stickers. yeah, I think I'm good on Nitrous Express. We'll count how many stickers we get at the end. Here. Oh, what's in there? Oh, yeah, this is the box we're going to show. Oh, my this God. Is, yeah, this that's... This one's a lot heftier than the last one we got. <laughs> Look at that yeah. plate. Yeah. <laughs> The kit we had was pretty much good for 150, maybe 200. This sucker's good for we'll never we'll never reach what it's good for. <laughs> I think it's good for over probably 300 probably. But got a ton of uh, lines. Nitrous and... lines. We're we're gonna upgrade to dash six. Yeah. So we got three new bottles too. Three new nitrous bottles. I got another one down here. Oh, nice. Awesome. Wow, we got a lot of bottles now. A lot of bottles. We got, we got a window bottles. banner, so we'll put, be putting that on the car. That'll look cool. So yeah, that's the crossbar plate. We got dash six line to upgrade to. It's still on dash four. What's that? Oh, that's the standalone. Yeah. Yeah, we need to show that. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. We got to figure yeah. out where we're going to mount that. That's cool. I like that. I'm thinking up here somewhere. Oh, I guess the hood's on, but probably somewhere in here. there. Probably yeah. gonna have to do a little cutting, unfortunately. We'll figure it out. Yeah. But yeah, that's look at that's that. Nice. That's nice. That's legit. So yeah, we got upgrades to do, that's for sure. And we also might be getting some cylinder heads soon, but more on that later. 
that's another that's that's for another video so thank you to jimmy dale and nice like express Christmas. for getting us all this stuff yeah. Jeez, you got all kinds of is that the, that's a regulator yeah new regulator for the because the oh and you got okay. another standalone fuel pump for the uh for the standalone that's the standalone fuel pump i believe there's all kinds of stuff we're going to need help from our familias for Oh, here's We're more. Setting some of this stuff up. More, more dash six lines. line. It'll just be nice to have a purge line on the car now. It'll look cool. Oh, the bottle heater. Oh, bottle heater. All right, with so a we were gonna. Hookup. Yeah, we were gonna put this on this past weekend, which obviously that we didn't even help. need it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we got all kinds of upgrades to do, mm -hmm. and uh, we're excited. And so the plan for the old nitrous kit is. Nitrous Express, this was their idea actually. We are going to find a youngster that's just getting into the game. A youngster. A youngster. Video grandpa. <laughs> well, that's what he said. We're gonna find a youngster. <laughs> Somebody that is just trying to get in the game, get their feet wet with nitrous, and we are going to give away this kit for free. Um, we just gotta find somebody out there in the racing community that uh, is ready for some nitrous, so. Yeah. I thought that was a really nice thing that we could do. It just makes you feel really good about working with a company that would suggest something like that. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I like we could have sold cool it idea. or something, right. you know, but they said, no, I want you guys to give it away. Yeah, to like the, the one condition to this was give away the nitrous kit to somebody who's yeah. getting into racing. And yeah. that's, so. that's really cool. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And we have some exciting plans coming. In Big this plans. Next video. Big plans, big exciting plans. Big plans. Big. Lots of big cubic giant, inch. Lots of cubic inch. Big giant, what's a word that starts with E? Big giant excellent plans. <laughs> <laughs>